In the world of high-speed optical networking, you often run into this standard called DWDM. This stands for Dense Wavelength Division Multiplexing. You're taking many, many different frequencies, many different optical carriers, and you're putting them into a single strand of fiber going across usually a very, very long connection. You can have very, very high speeds going across this. And as you want to increase the amount of data, you simply add new wavelengths into this single strand of fiber. You don't have to keep running new fiber to increase the throughput that you might need across those connections. We use a different wavelength for each carrier that's going over that connection which effectively, and we're talking about light, is a different color that's going across those connections. The more colors you can put over that particular fiber, the more data you're going to be able to send across the connection. You can have, for instance, a single 10 gigabit system expanded into 160 different frequencies inside of that, different wavelengths that you're using, which means you could have a single fiber sending a total throughput of 1.6 terabits per second across that single link. And as you can imagine, that really provides you with a lot of flexibility for sending a lot of data. So obviously, DWDM is one of those standards that is used by your carriers. And they're used to send traffic across the ocean, where you don't really have the way to add more fibers into an ocean connection. You really want to put more data on the existing fibers. And DWDM really fits the bill nicely. PON stands for Passive Optical Networking. And a passive optical network is one where you have a single provider that might be sending to many different receivers, and they all may be receiving different kinds of traffic. But you're only having to send it out through one method that's going out using this passive optical networking. It's an unpowered way of sending signal from one side of the network down to a single client. You're splitting the light in something we call an ONT. And that light splitting is going out to all all of the different connections that it needs to go to. And when it finally gets to the end, it's going out and being sent just for the data for that individual user once it gets to the other side. It's using WDM or DWDM to be able to send multiple frequencies through those connections and split those frequencies as they're going out to the end user. You use something called an optical line terminal to send all of this information and receive it on the other side. There's something called an optical network terminal. You may also see this referred to as an optical network unit that sits in the middle that's used to help split the signal and send it off to the client location. This is using a standard called 802.3 AH in 2004. And it is set to use as much as 1 gigabit upstream and 1 gigabit downstream to be able to communicate. Since we're sending all of this data out for every client. And it's going to multiple locations that contained information for multiple clients. The ONT that's at the end is responsible for pulling out just that client's information and presenting it there. But notice everything is still going through that fiber all the way up until it gets to the point of that ONT. So information for client A and information for client B are sent to both A and B. It is up to the ONT to pull off just the information specific to A to keep everything private and keep everything secure so that client A can't see client B's information and vice versa, we usually use encryption technologies over these passive optical networks so that even if you looked at the raw data, you wouldn't be able to see anything inside of it.